Welcome in. Today, I'm unboxing a Max ECU race so that all of you can see exactly what comes in the box when you order one. I have purchased this from LSP Fab out of Washington, Linder Power Systems, I believe is uh, his Instagram. And I wanna show you what you get. I ordered this three or four days ago. It drop shipped out of Kentucky and was at my house, no problems, uh, and required a signature drop off. So uh, let's get into it. So after you cut the nice tape right here, it comes bubble wrapped, which is very nice to know that a fairly expensive ECU is bubble wrapped. Be a tuning mastermind like us, okay? We'll take out the bubble wrap and get this thing out of its box. Wow, that thing is hefty. I'll tell you right now, there's some heft to this. Okay, now that that's out of the way, uh, let's open the box, see what we can do here. Get this uh, real estate here so we can open it up. Oh, yes. Man, this thing is beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see this, but We'll zoom in just a little bit more so you can see a little bit more of what's going on in here. So, get some nice vinyl cut stickers. Definitely love stickers. One of my favorite things to do is collect them but never put them on anything. So, that'll just go in the collection. There's a quick start guide. It's very nice. Gives you some of the comparisons. Support page, really easy to get to and kind of some of the differences between the plugs it looks like some of the best practices and inputs and then uh, outputs startup procedures looks good that's nice to have i've already been playing around with their software quite a bit so i am familiar and should be able to get this thing up and running this is nice to have as you wire up an ECU, just set this on your bench when you're wiring up and uh, you have a reference for where all of your pin out, all your pins go on your wiring harness. Since this is the race, it does have the additional plug with EGT sensors and uh, we'll be using those. So that's very nice. At least you get quality instructions and you get a guide on how to get you to the right place if you don't know what you're doing. So props on Max ECU for that, that's great. Now let's get stuck into the rest of this. Ooh, this looks just crispy. We're just gonna grab this real quick just to get into the meat of this. Ooh, that's nice, very quality. From the outside, it may look like it's plastic, but this is an aluminum case and it feels very, very quality. This case is, yeah, it's beefy. I would not be surprised if all the MOSFETs had heat sinks that go to this big plate um, because that is just really quality. Let's see if we can see down inside there, you can see all the pins. And the Bluetooth connector, USB right there, and the map sensor on board, so has some push fittings right there. That's actually really nice that it has a push fitting so you can just get that um, push in tubing, push it in right there and you should be good to go. All right, well, let's set this aside and kind of see what else is in the box on the other side. Looks like they give you a fair amount of red and brown. I'm assuming power and ground. Haven't looked at their exact parts list that comes in this, this kit other than that it gives you the wiring harness and fittings and O2 sensor. This is the premium package, by the way. Uh, you can get it just standalone only. You can get the harness with it and you can get a harness with an O2 sensor. So I opted for the O2 sensor because it may seem like on the outside their ECUs are pricey, but they have a built-in a wideband controller. So if you buy the one with the wideband, uh, you know, that saves you 180, 200, and 
200 bucks, depending on what wideband controller and sensor you get. I mean, that right there, you can take the price of this and just knock off 200 bucks because you'd have to buy that to tune your car anyway. So yeah, comes all nicely bundled up and ready to go. Set that to the side. Looks like you'll have to get your W crimper out because we've got a plug here. It's nice. And looks like we've got another plug here with a boot. It's nice that they include that. And uh, the little insulator seal connectors. This is for the other end of the wide band right there. So those two go together. And let's see. Oh, this is nice. So there's some barbs and another air fitting for manifold pressure, which is really cool. So they give you this and a coupling right here looks like, as well as another barb fitting that can go in here if you wanna just go from that tubing to a barb. Since that's just a prefer pressure reference, it doesn't have to be much. But ooh, this stuff is awesome. What a treat it is to open up this ECU, especially when I'm used to very budget speed duinos and micro squirts. This thing is just next level. All right, next bundle of wire looks like the EGT sensors. So I opted for, or sorry, these are the connectors for like a K-style, uh, yeah, you can see right there, a K-style thermocouple. So this harness, uh, it has some other additional input and output, but it is specifically what sets the race apart from the others is that it comes with um, EGT thermocouple amplifiers built into it. So you can just take individual cylinder temperature probes and plug it straight in to the ECU and off you go, you're ready to take individual cylinder temps. I figured it isn't necessarily uh, necessary to run an engine, even at moderate to higher power levels, but when you are looking to get additional input and output, it does um, just come with these. And I wanna run drive-by wire, so we opted for the additional uh, Max ECU race over the sport. And there we go. So we can uh, depin some of this, won't need all of it, especially uh, since I'm running a six cylinder, I won't need eight of these. So we'll depin this later on, but let's continue on. Let's get down here. Looks like just a typical A to B USB standard. A lot of different ECUs use that, just serial communication to get to your uh, ECU to tune it. And ooh, look at this. That is a thick snake boy. Wow, very nice, very nice. I don't know if you can see that, but very good quality connectors. This big guy right here. Nice, very nice. And last but not least, I did not expect this. This is very nice. They give you the tubing for the uh, map sensor. So let's see here if we can take a look at it, but four by 2.7. So this goes and sticks in here, right there. Runs out to your manifold. And like I showed earlier, there is a little bag of fittings for it as well. So you get that with this. So very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, let's see. This little guy's hiding. So this is the antenna for the Bluetooth. Let me show you how that works. Put this right here and thread it on. If anyone works with microphones or pro audio equipment, you will be familiar with this. So you can 
stick it on like that, sit it somewhere in the car. If you need to as well, I am not 100% familiar with this particular connector, but usually you can just get cables to extend this so you could bring this out into the car somewhere else. Uh, typically there's all kinds of antenna extensions you can get for pro audio and things like that. So uh, if this didn't work in your application, I'm assuming you could just get some sort of extension and move this to where you can get to it. So looks like that's everything and uh, I look forward to starting to use this here very soon. Set that out here for you. And um, just lay everything out next to it. Just like that. So hopefully be able to get this in the car in the next few months and start messing around with it. I will be doing some bench testing with it and get it set up before it goes in the car, make sure it works, do some sensor testing and things like that. So you can look forward to some videos on that coming up in the near future and watch out for some tuning videos once I get it going. Thanks again. Enjoy.